I'm here in the capital city of Canada, Toronto, because something crazy has been happening in the last couple of years. It seems a lot of people are moving out of the country. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my thoughts, some of the reasons I think people are moving out of Canada, moving somewhere else. And there's at least one point that I really want you to hear. So be sure to keep watching to the end of the video. When I talk about uh, more and more people moving out of Canada, I'm not just talking about, uh, you know, generational citizens who've grown up here, but I'm also talking about new immigrants. Canada is seeing, over the last couple of years, more emigration, people moving out of the country, than uh, we have in the past 40 to 50 years. Uh, it's been since at least the 70s that we haven't seen uh, as many people leaving the country as we do now. One of the obvious reasons why people are choosing to move out of Canada is the increasing cost of living. And I'm gonna talk about a few of these points. Of course, cost of living, you know, there's a lot of different aspects to it, right? There's the cost of food, there's the cost of accommodation, you know, our, you know, everyday life items, you know, uh, gas and electricity, uh, internet, you know, just things that we take for granted and the costs associated with those. So yeah, cost of living, it's going up. I'm Canadian. I've been traveling the last year around the world. And so I have this, uh, I guess I would say, a unique perspective at the moment where I can see Canada from a traveler's perspective, but also the perspective of someone who grew up here. What I can say is, lately, all I hear on the news and from people, friends and family, is how prices keep going up. Uncertainty. For a few years, real estate was going up and that was great you know if you owned real estate and we're looking to sell thing is now it's reached this uh, peak and uh, constantly every day we read and hear on the news of how uh, there's a crash coming and you know whether it will happen or not it seems that real estate prices are uh, staying put and in some places they are also dropping and so yeah, concerning. I am Canadian, I am biased. Canada is a great country. This video is not about me bashing Canada in any way. It's me being honest of why people are moving out of Canada. In fact, why I'm moving out of Canada. In a lot of ways, it's sad to say, but Canada is not what it used to be. So one of the reasons, probably the main reason why people are moving out of Canada is that Canada has an incredibly high cost of living that keeps going up. In fact, it's on the news daily that this is like unprecedented times that inflation is so high, cost of food, cost of living, you know, and we don't have that high of a wage standard, you know? So in parts of Canada, the minimum wage is $15 Canadian an hour, which compared to other countries is relatively high. But here in Canada, where, you know, you will pay probably $1,200 minimum a month just to rent a small apartment, those $15 an hour aren't gonna go very far. You know, of course, we also have very high paying jobs and equally we have some very expensive real estate. Really, the sky's the limit. Another reason why people are moving out, and this is probably gonna surprise some people, is that our healthcare system is not that good. So Canada does have a decent healthcare system compared to a lot of other countries, there's no question. Uh, the thing is, and most people will tell you that there's a doctor shortage in a lot of places and the treatment that you get is sometimes, I wouldn't say questionable, but uh, you know, like you, you know, what people say here is that you need to be your own advocate. So you go to the doctor and you almost need to argue that there's something wrong with you so that you could get a, you know, proper examination. Uh, and that's after usually waiting for some time to see a doctor. So, yeah, it surprises me that a country like Canada doesn't have a better healthcare system, but I guess uh, 
demand is higher than supply. Now, I don't want people to overreact when I say this, but I'm gonna say, Canadians were known for being friendly people. You know, in fact, we're known, I would say, for being polite people. The thing is, over the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years, we're becoming less and less friendly. I feel we're losing our friendliness. We're losing our politeness. You know, there was a day where, you know, in a city like Ottawa, you would walk down the street and say hello to everybody and they would say hello back. Not so much anymore. You get the odd person, you know, friendly and happy, but mostly people just want to be left alone now. So another reason, another big reason, it's probably kind of obvious, it's the weather. Like I've said, Canada is a beautiful country, but all that beauty doesn't really measure up too much when you only have three or four months of the year that are warm and sunny. Even within that time, you have rain. You know, it's uh, October now, and uh, this week, rain every day of the week. It's about 10 degrees Celsius, so it's not only wet, but it's cold, it's damp. And in another couple months, this rain is gonna be snow. And not just a little bit of snow, but a lot of snow. And that is gonna last all the way until March or April, maybe even May. So that's a lot to put up with living here. You know, you gotta be uh, somewhat resilient. But the thing is, and science is proving that the poor weather has an effect on people's mental state. So I ask you, would you like to live somewhere where it's wet, damp, and cold? or somewhere sunny and warm. Another aspect of quality of life that I always measure is the quality of the food. And, you know, traveling this year, I will admit, be honest, the best meal I had all year was here in Ottawa at a restaurant called Gazellig. Incredible food. The thing is, when I look at the quality of food that I can buy at the grocery store, the freshness of fruit and vegetables, it really isn't that good here in Canada. And although that alone is not something that would convince me to move out of the country, I have to admit that it is an issue. It's on my mind when I can go to other countries and have, you know, non-GMO beef in Spain that tasted amazing, or, you know, incredibly fresh fruit in Mexico. Now, we probably won't find all of this in one spot, but Canada, when it comes to fresh fruits and vegetables, yeah, it's a bit lacking. You know, I mean, of course, you can get fresh fruits and vegetables but the variety isn't that good and often a lot of the fruits especially are advertised or promoted you know fresh or ripe and yeah they're nowhere near that other aspect you know quality of life is jobs there are a lot of jobs here in Canada, but unfortunately, from what I see and what I've heard is that often people, educated people, need to take jobs that they're overqualified for. You know, meaning you might be uh, upper management in one country or study for that, and you need to take a job as lower management or less here in Canada. So although there are jobs available, I would say the quality, you know, or matching uh, people's skills to appropriate uh, skilled jobs, that's not happening. So, you know, you look at someone who might spend four years in university studying, you might get a job that only requires a two year college degree. It's the same, you know, we look at other aspects of quality in life and, you know, inflation. And I would say 
it's the same problem where, of course, an employer wants the highest skill level possible. So, you know, if you have a lower entry level job and people applying that have a two year college degree or a four year university degree, many of those employers are going to hire a person with the four year degree. So, of course, then you have the people with the two-year college degree and they're getting jobs that are paying minimum wage, right? So then also, of course, you have student debt and all of these other issues that come along with uh, being over-educated for, you know, the position, work position that you end up having. So there is another reason why people are moving out of Canada and I think this is a big part of it and it's that you know over the last couple of years because of uh, COVID-19 the pandemic a lot of people were forced to work at home a lot of companies have changed their structure to allow people to work remotely and people are realizing that you can have a job in Canada but live somewhere else so yeah why wouldn't you why wouldn't you work for a Canadian company or American company and live somewhere where it doesn't have as high of a cost of living and where your skills are probably going to be better used. You know, it's not just the cost of living, but it's also the quality of life that keeps people in one place. And, you know, Canada has a lot to offer. Beautiful, beautiful country. Nice people. A lot of opportunity. But what Canada needs to do is get a grip on some of its assets and, you know, resolve some of its liabilities. And right now, I think things are slipping away. I think that a lot of people who live here are looking for an alternative, you know? We're finding that, you know, our skills, our uh, investments, our, you know, income can go a lot further somewhere else. And that there's areas of quality of life that are better in other places. You know, it's a return on the investment. And... You know, if well, I have to put up with, uh, you know, bad weather for half the year and uh, lower quality food, higher costs of living, well, it's really only sensible to start looking at alternatives. And I'm not just talking about Canada to another country, but even within Canada, you know, if your city is too expensive and, you know, you're not getting enough out of it, well, then it makes sense to see where else in Canada you can live. And I think it's this, this is the reason, you know, people are just uh, evaluating what we get here and maybe not permanently moving elsewhere, but testing the waters. And in a lot of cases, probably permanently moving somewhere else. And that's okay too. Canada. I love you, but you have some behavioral issues. Yeah, you know, sort your stuff out and maybe we can start again. Thank you for watching the end of the video. And now I have to admit, I said something that is not true at all. At the beginning of this video, I said that I was in the capital city of Toronto. No, Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. I couldn't resist, you know, as a YouTuber, being creating uh, video content for years now, I get a lot of comments from people who comment without watching the entire video. So I thought that I would prompt people to watch the entire video to catch something within it and this is what they should be watching so let's see how many comments i get on this video saying that i was wrong who knows what kind of nasty comments that i'll get what kind of canadian am i or just plain and simple 
Toronto is not the capital city of Canada. Anyhow, no, Toronto is not the capital city of Canada. Ottawa is. And in fact, that's where I filmed the entire video, other than that little intro. For those of you who have watched to this point, thanks for watching. And let's have a look to see how many comments I get. People correcting me.